This tutorial will demonstrate how a teacher activates a Socrative quiz and how a student logs in and takes that quiz. I have two different windows open and I am at Socrative.com on both of them. In this screen on the right, I am going to log in as a teacher with my email address and password. I'll notice that my room number is 052486. I need to give that room number to my students so that they can join my classroom. So as a student, on the left hand side, I am going to click Student Login. And I'll enter the teacher's number 052486 and I will click Join Room. Now the teacher hasn't activated any quizzes yet, so the students will just see a little spinning wheel. So as the teacher, I'm going to scroll down and click Start Quiz, and it says Run a Pre-Made Quiz. I have one student in the room, so I am seeing the student over here on the left. I'm going to select a saved quiz. I'll select Practice Quiz Number 1. And then at the bottom, I have some advanced options. I can randomize the answer choices where multiple choice questions will never be displayed in the same order. They're always going to be in a random order. I think I like that option, so I'm going to check it. I can, if I want, disable the right and wrong feedback. And I can hide the question explanations. Then I either select student paced quiz where students can answer questions at their own pace or teacher paced quiz where as the teacher you decide when the students see each new question. I'm going to let the students take this quiz at their own pace so I'll select student paced quiz and now as the student on the left hand side I can see the questions. The first one is your name. My name will be Joe Smith. My first question, what is the name of the Marion local mascot? I think it's Freddy. Good job, you got the answer right. The Marion local mascot name is Freddy. This is just identifying that it was the correct answer. This was the explanation. What state does the image depict? And the student sees the image and must type it in the screen. I'll say, I think that's Texas. And I'll click Submit. Wrong answer. The correct answer was Ohio. The image is the state of Ohio. And I click Done. I can either click Finish Quick Quiz, or if there's another student in the classroom who doesn't have a device, I can let them use my device, at which case I'll click Let Another Student Take the Quiz, and the process starts all over, where the student enters their name, and the teacher will get feedback for another student. And that is how a teacher can give a quiz on Socrative.